So it looks like once again, Rockstar has done us dirty on my part. This is not a surprise dealing with this company for many years. They have uh, disappointed us, and it's just something that you gotta get used to when you're playing Grand Theft Auto. Now, you guys think that Grand Theft Auto 6 isn't going to be uh, pretty bad when it comes to certain things, like maybe some payouts? Who knows? Check this out, though. You read that? $100,000. This has been raised up from $25,000. Used to cost $25,000 to set up a Kyle Perico, and now that has been raised to a hundred thousand dollars so let's check out this information that I took a snapshot off of Rockstar Games so it says as a part of an ongoing adjustment to provide players with greater incentives uh, to experience the full range of content or yeah content available in GTA online starting today which is like yesterday whatever we are going to be doubling base payout for the assault on Kyle Perico for both teams. So the winners and the losers are going to be making even more money. And that's just assault on Kyle, okay? Let's talk about this, like what they've actually done to Kyle Perico heist. Once again, yeah, of course, you guys have seen right there. It cost $100,000 to go ahead and start a Kyle Perico now. So here we go. We have also made some GTA cash payout changes to set up costs, which I was just talking about. Yeah, that's an extra $75,000 you put in there. And then also it says, finale payouts to the Kyle Perico highest payouts have been in the Madrazo uh, files. And also I would say the pink diamond will be remain the same as will the payouts for gold as secondary targets and then payouts for other primary and secondary targets have been reduced so not only does it cost more money to start up Kyle Perico but it actually is going to be paying even less money now which is a really big bummer and then it says we're gonna go ahead and continue to monitor the GTA cash payouts now let me tell you guys the real reason why they did this why they nerfed this okay so in the background Rockstar knows exactly how much money is being made in Grand Theft Auto, whether it is a Kyle Perico, like all the Kyle Perico heists that every player is doing. And that's the reason that they nerfed it because Kyle Perico is dishing out way too much cash on their part and they want people to start buying shark cards more. Number one, because let's talk about this, the replay glitch over at Kyle Perico, meaning what? You can just keep running finale after finale without doing any of the setups whatsoever, just by simply restarting your application at a certain time. And on console, it would be two player. So the host does not get paid, but the actual helper is going to get paid. And then on top of that for PC, this is the real unfair part. If you guys didn't know, like Kyle Perico replay money glitch, is completely solo on PC. So there's your big problem right there. And people on PC, which let's just say there's a third more people playing Grand Theft Auto on PC than they would be on PlayStation. And there's two times as many people playing PlayStation as there is Xbox. There is half as less on Xbox. Xbox is basically has the less amount of players of all consoles, unfortunately. But it looks like PlayStation is going to reach the second there. And then like a third more players on the PC part. So yeah, it's basically people taking advantage of the replay glitch is why they've nerfed this. So if you guys are upset and you have done the replay glitch, then potentially you have been part of the problem. And I may be part of the problem too because I've done this glitch well in the past. I've made millions and millions of dollars off having people me run this especially when we had the diamond like panther coming in and stuff like that and you just get to keep doing that one right there and you get to get the gold bars and stuff like that this used to pay out a lot of money but now these days i wonder if they're going to nerf it even more after this and don't think that this is probably going to get like a double cash or anything payout because that hasn't happened in a while and the fact that right now it costs a hundred thousand dollars to set up Kyle Perico in my mind they're just making it to where I don't even want to run Kyle Perico anymore I would rather just run my businesses or something like that instead of doing something 
that takes all the setups because I could like right now in the game just sit AFK and go do like a nightclub cell mission or something or go fill up my bunker and go do that and that's like an easy million dollars and let's not forget about the Bogdan heist replay glitch which also still working in the game so Kyle Preco replay glitch is still working Bogdan glitch still working all those glitches are still working ever since year two when the first heist came into the game and we were doing the replay glitch with the standard pacific heist but anyways from there you guys i just want to go ahead and talk about these details here so yeah rockstar has nerfed kyle perico once again making it probably not even worth it if it is worth i don't even know you guys they've just nerfed this so bad to where even if you did this solo like potentially you're not even gonna be able to go set up another one for another like three four hours so what are you gonna do you know they made one of the best dlcs in the game like potentially one of the worst at this time so let us know what you guys think down in the comment sections below are you happy about this nerf are you not happy but uh, yeah, so I'm not definitely not happy about this one. But anyways, from there, you guys, if you want to go ahead and see some more videos just like this to help you guys out in Grand Theft Auto 5, we got money glitches, we got RP glitches and exploits on the channel. So go over there and make sure you guys check that out. But from there, thank you for watching. Hope the video was helpful and you guys are all doing good, having an awesome rest of the day. My name is Gravesite and I will see you in the next one. So peace.